Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Kendall and I review a bunch of the hottest new releases in makeup. So I have a brand new makeup launch we're gonna talk about today and it is the Anastasia Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 4. That's such a mouthful, but it is the fourth palette out of the line. I have reviewed all of them if you guys wanna check out any of my reviews. I pretty much review every palette from Anastasia and Norvina, but this one one absolutely screamed my name because it is the most neutral out of the four. I'm sure you guys know this if you watch me, but if you don't, I am a big neutral lover. I can't even hide it. I love to play with color occasionally, and I do have a little bit of fun with my looks, but I always go back to my true nature of a neutral, loving human being. So if you guys want to see my first look with this palette, you want to see swatches and hear my thoughts, then just keep on watching. So obviously, this is a very very stunning palette. It is light pink plastic packaging for spring and it is a 25 pan eyeshadow palette just like the other pro pigment palettes. This is my personal favorite because I feel like out of all of them this one and the Norvina 3 are my favorite but this one has the most go-to natural neutral eye looks in my opinion. This is available now if you guys want to shop. I will leave links down below where you can get this palette if you're interested but but I'm gonna dive right in and show you guys swatches by the row like I usually do with the pro palettes. I love how Norvina lays out these palettes. They are by number and letter. So I'm gonna show you row A first. Then we have row B. Then we have row C, which has really pretty pinks and purples in there. Then we have row D that has the pop of yellow. And then my favorite, row E, has beautiful pinks and the pressed glitters. And I am a fan of pressed glitters. Some people are not, but I definitely am. So everything in here swatched really consistently, really beautiful, and very, very pigmented. They are pro pigments, so they are a little bit more pigmented than your typical eyeshadow palettes, and also there will be a little bit of fallout, so make sure that you tap off your brush when you are working with these palettes. But I absolutely love this one. I mean, it really stole my heart. Everything from the packaging to the neutral colors and the pops of pink really sparked my interest. But yeah, I don't want to ramble too much, I want to jump right in and show you guys this look. This was my first time using the palette. I wanted to do something neutral because that is how this palette really resonated with me. Of course, you can do bright, beautiful looks with this palette, and I definitely will be doing them in the future, but I wanted to stay true and do something that is very much me. So let's jump into the tutorial. So when I first saw this palette and thought about what I wanted to do in a review, I thought I was gonna do like a sunset kind of look, but I realized I literally just did one with the Morphe Sweetie palette and this palette calls to me for different reasons. It calls to me because out of the four Norvina Pro Pigment palettes, this is the most neutral and I'm a neutral lover. So today I'm going to just go with the flow and do whatever I would normally do for a neutral look. I might add in some other colors, but I really just want to play with the neutral colors in this palette. I'm gonna start with a big fluffy brush from Sigma. I'm gonna dip into the shade A4 and I'm gonna start working this into the crease of my eye. Something I found with all of the Norvina palettes is that the blendability is very consistent and I feel like now that I have all of them, I can tell you that it's a really reliable formula. This is such a perfect neutral brown. I could see myself just throwing this in the crease and that's it, calling it a day. I'm gonna grab a smaller blending brush and we're gonna go a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna go into the shade B5. B5 is over here in that corner. And I'm gonna deepen up the outer corner of my eye with this color, kind of smoke it out a little. This is a beautiful chocolate brown. It's blending so well. There's a perfect bubblegum pink in this palette. It is E1 down in the corner over here. And I'm gonna pick this up as an accent shade. Picking it up with a tiny blending brush. This is the Precision Firm Blender E42 from Sigma. 
and I'm gonna pick this up just on the tip of the brush. I'm gonna tap off the excess and I'm gonna place this right above that brown. I want this to just be a hint of pink popping out of the look. Next, I'm gonna grab another small blending brush. This is the Detail Diffused Crease E33 from Sigma. And I'm gonna pick up A4, that same matte shade we started with, and I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line. Next, with a flat brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade A5. This is like a beautiful champagne bronze. So I'm just popping this on the lid. I might need to go in with my finger to get an extra impact I could see myself using the shade every single day and I'm letting this overlap the browns and I'm going to bring some of that shade onto the lower lash line I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit more of E1, the bubblegum pink, and I'm gonna put this right in the middle of the lower lash line. Now, I was debating doing a neon liner with this look, but to be honest with you, I really wanna do black because I just think it's going to look the best. Um, I was gonna do white, but these are really, really cool. They're water activated, and I'm going to get my use out of these for sure. I want to do some fun looks on Instagram with these, um, but I don't want to ruin the neutral vibe that I have going, so I'm going to pop on some black liner and lashes, and that will finish up the first look with this palette. So this is the final look. I kind of did like a half wing of liner, kind of going along the foxy eye trend to try to make my eyes look a little bit bigger, but I definitely am happy with the black liner with this look. I'm sure it would be beautiful with the white cake liner, but I wanted to, again, stay true to a look that I would typically do. And this is really, really pretty. This is something that I would wear out, I would wear on a daily basis, and it really does put the palette to the test for me because I want to see how these neutrals are going to perform and the mattes blended beautifully the shimmer is very very pigmented and I know I'm gonna love this palette so I'm kind of thinking I want to do a dedicated video on the cake liners if you guys want to see that then let me know in the comments I could also come back on here and do another look with this palette with the neons maybe the yellow or pink or purple I could even do the sunset look that I was thinking of if you guys want to see something like that there's just so many options in here but I hope that you guys enjoy my first impression and review of this palette it's definitely approved by me I think it's stunning and there's just so many options in here but of course it's always up to you if you guys think you need another palette in your collection I know a lot of us have an overload of eyeshadow palettes myself included but I definitely definitely would purchase this one on my own so if you guys are curious about any Anastasia or Norvina palette I have reviews up of every single one I have an Anastasia playlist if you guys want to check it out but if you have any questions be sure to let me know down in the comments also I would love it so much if you guys followed me on Instagram I do a lot of short tutorials over there also my swatch post and just my product posts are over on Instagram if you guys want to follow me there I don't really think I talk about it enough but I really love my Instagram followers but that is gonna be it for today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up for me thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!